This is update number six. It's Sunday the 14th. And as far as I know, the the shit's still happening here. So, but it's uh, all in all, it was pretty quiet last night. I have to report that there were two murders close to home, one Friday night, one Saturday morning in the little beach town of Crusita. I can stand out here on this balcony at night and see the lights from Crusita on the shores looking out over the port. Puts it pretty close to home. One of them was a boat captain that was innocently eating his breakfast and some gangbangers came in and shot him and killed him. Now we got some stuff to report from the various news sources around the country. Most of them are pretty much the same as what I've been telling you about for the last three or four days. No, no boy reported that the country is facing terrorist groups that made up of more than 20,000 people. Nicholas Crowder from the Emergency Ecuador Facebook page reported uh, the following. I'm going to read it to you. Uh, Peru redoubles surveillance in prisons and borders in the face of violence in Ecuador. Peru's fear of experiencing an armed outbreak of organized crime like the one neighboring country Ecuador is going through has led it to declare a state of emergency on its borders. Given the crisis of violence that Ecuador is going through, Peru has chosen to carry out massive operations in the 68 prisons in its territory in an attempt to prevent a similar armed outbreak. With more than 89,000 people behind bars, Peruvian prisons are at more than double their capacity, according to figures from the National Penitentiary Institute. Uh, the Peruvian government has declared an emergency on the border with Ecuador on Tuesday with the announcement arm, army forces were deployed to redouble the efforts of the border police. The week, this week, organized crime launched a systematic attack from prisons across the government of Daniel Noboa in Ecuador. There are kidnappings on live television, as everybody's already heard about, and assaults in hospitals and police stations, as well as the execution of police and prison guards. I saw a video. I thought about sharing it, but no, I'm not going to do that. I saw a video this morning of uh, that was sh taken in one of the prisons, and the the gang recorded themselves shooting these guards, and the guys were just innocently sitting on the ground, and they just shot them in the head. So really, a lot of people have canceled their trips to Ecuador. I don't know what to say about it. I, you know, when I first started reporting these updates, I was telling people don't come here. And and then as soon as I realized that, you know, the the Quito airport's open, the Monte airport's open, the Waikil airport is open, they're letting flights in except for some of the nighttime flights that come in from Miami. Uh, Really not a, not a whole lot has changed. I want to share some comments that I got from some various uh, supporters of this channel. And I'm not going to mention any names in order to protect their anonymity. As one guy said, I made it to Mendo from Loja. I experienced nothing out of the ordinary on two buses to Quito. A subway ride to the Labrador bus station a taxi ride to Ophelia bus station, and a bus ride to Mendo. Everyone was going about their business as usual. Mendo is very tranquil. Another person wrote, You're the best. Talking about me. Thank you, sir. Uh, been in Cuenca two days now. I walk the streets. No problem. I noticed the police strolling the parks and terrace tourist areas. Biggest danger I have is myself. Fell two times today. Can you say geezer? Yeah, geezer. I know that feeling. Yep, I had that problem this morning trying to cross from Columbia to Ecuador. I'll have to backtrack now to the airport. Somebody talking about 
If you're trying to cross the borders from Peru or from Colombia, and you're on foot, your own land, you know, uh, you're going to have to basically show proof that you don't have any criminal record. It has to be an office deal report. I guess for us Americans, that would be an FBI report. Here's a pretty lengthy comment that somebody wrote, and I have my own thoughts about this. Let's face it, these people are sheep. I'm not sure who she's talking about, whether she's talking about the guards and the police or the, the prisoners or the gangs. But anyway, more than likely, when the criminals approached the guards, the guards handed them their guns and ran away after first opening the doors and giving them directions. Guards and police are more for decoration than for real protection. I noticed many of them carry prop guns. If you notice their holsters, by the time they get their guns released from the holster, they would be dead. I talked to the guards at my condo. One of them, what, one, none of them have had any kind of experience or training with shooting guns. <laughs> the guards, police, and the military are basically mall cops by our standards. I happened to be at Hotel Oro Verde when the current president walked by before he was elected and after the assassination. I noticed I had no idea who he was, but I walked within two feet of him to go to the deli. None of his security did anything. Later, I walked down the street and saw the military. They were all bunched up in their canvas-covered trucks with the doors open, no driver. Anyone with a gun could have gone up to the truck and killed all the soldiers on the inside. On the upside of all of this, I never knew that Cuenca could be so quiet. The first night around 9 p.m., it was very quiet. For the first time, I could actually hear what I was thinking. SMH. Yeah, I know, noise is a problem in South America. Everybody knows that. During this uh, curfew, during this time we're going through right now, it's very quiet. Feels pretty much like being back home to me. Quite frankly, I can't wait to get the hell out of here. I, I'm, I'm tired. I'm extremely bored. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't feel safe. And I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just going to go back to the States and stay until I feel like it's safe to come back here. And I hope I don't end up losing everything I own uh, out of having to just abandon ship. I still say to everybody that wants to come here, you know, exercise common sense and don't be stupid thinking that, you know, nothing can happen to you because anything can happen. I'm going to continue when I get to the States, I'm going to continue monitoring what's going on here, talking to some of the various admins from the diff other groups, and I'll continue to do updates as long as I feel like there's something to, to report on. I'm going to the States in spite of what all the naysayers are saying and all the negative Nellies that are talking about how bad it is in the States. I guess I'm going to have to find out for myself. I have a lot of confidence in my country and I just think that some of this is just a bunch of BS. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of feedback about that. I, I have also have to express a feeling that I remember a couple years ago when we had this PARO, P-A-R-R-O, where the indigenous were striking against the government and, and blocking roads and keeping stuff from being transported to the coast. And uh, that was frightening to me. I wasn't worried about violence as much as I was of not having food to eat. With this stuff that's going on here, it's more about being stuck in the middle and caught in the crossfire, so to speak. A lot of the gangs are promising retaliation against the president. There's also been a tremendous number of arrests made, too. On the positive side, we have to say, we have to look up and say that I think that Noboa's plan is working. I'd like to think that it's working. Positive side, 
Uh, we haven't heard as many reports of killings of innocent people as we thought we would be hearing. I'm going to put some links in the description of my news sources. I encourage you to open these links and read as much as you can. Translate to English and read as much of it as you can. Read it with an open mind. Don't make any irrational decisions. I, uh, I would still encourage you to look at some of the Facebook pages that are in mentioned in the links in the description below as well. That's about it. I will talk to you at another time. Okay, ciao, ciao.